YouTube video oh my gosh I've been meaning to do YouTube for months now so I'm finally starting my channel I'm nervous excited I'm all these different things at once but um yeah so today's video is just gonna be a simple get ready with me um I'm already had my eyebrows done I can't do my eyebrows on camera as I practiced yesterday um it will take way too long and I got class in like two hours so I need to like hurry up and get this done but anyway um I hope you stay tuned I hope you finish watching my channel so first things first I'm going to get started on my eyes um so for my eyes I just do a very simple look I just do one eye shadow look um but I'm going to take my Too Faced shadow insurance primer I have this stuff for like a couple of months already this is the first eyeshadow primer that i used when i started out on makeup and i just stuck with it i haven't tried anything else new but if you have any suggestions on good eyeshadow primers then let me know but yeah as i stated earlier i have class in two hours i'm currently a junior in college ready to graduate to be honest um it's just a lot I mean, I knew that when I came in here that, you know, college wasn't going to be easy, but I don't know. I just feel like that's something you really got to prepare yourself for. So, after I put on my primer, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. And I'm just going to dab that all over my eyelids. So, um, yeah, sorry if I'm just like so like tense i'm so nervous right now i'm not even playing like i didn't think it was going to be this hard just talking to a camera yeah so a little bit about me i'm currently 20 years old my birthday is next month february 7th i'm going to be 21 um yeah like i said i'm a junior in college i currently go to school in Rhode island but i'm from philly and what else about me? Um, I'm currently the only child. I decided to finally start my YouTube channel now only because I've been putting it off for so long. And I said, I think it's finally time for me to start and for me to at least, you know, get my foot in the door. Um, I'm going to try to upload videos at least as often as possible. I want to just like, you know, start pushing videos out. I want to get my name out there. I just want to get my face out there. I want to get my feet wet first. But, yeah, I didn't really think it was going to be this nerve-wracking to talk in front of the camera. But after I blended out the color, I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder in the shade Banana. I'm going to take that and I'm going to set my eyelids. And to be honest, I really didn't think it was going to be this hard or this like nerve wracking only because only because when I sit in my house, like when I do my makeup, I pretend like I'm talking to a camera. So like this should be smooth and easy for me. But so I'm just going to take this brush right here. I got this in a pack of 12 from TJ Maxx and it's a good blender brush. Um. So I'm going to be taking this palette by Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill palette. Sorry if it's so, you know, dirty. I'm going to be taking this shade right here. I actually have the names up here. I think it's called Buns. Yeah, I'm going to be taking that shade called Buns. And I'm just going to be popping this all over my lid, my crease, and my everything. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm just... You know, getting to the, getting in the hang of, you know, doing videos, creating content. But I think over time, I'm going to become less nervous. I was watching videos yesterday 
you know if people first youtube videos on how they act versus how they act now like you know bigger youtubers and stuff and you know everybody goes through that i feel like everybody goes through that nervous awkward phase but eventually i'll get over it over time it's just gonna take me some time to warm up but um So yeah, I'm just going to blend that color all over my lid and all over my crease. And this is just like an eyeshadow look I do every day just for going to class. Or if I doesn't, like if I don't have anything else to do or any other ideas to come up with, this is my go-to eyeshadow look. Then I'm just going to repeat the same stuff for this other eye. At first, this video was going to be a simple talk through because I was just like, I don't think I can talk in front of a camera right now. Like, I'm so nervous, especially for my first video. I don't know how that's going to go. But I decided to get the hard part out of the way first. I'll do a, you know, get ready with me. Then I'll do a talk through for my second video. Hopefully that won't go more smoother because... I'm talking over the video versus me talking directly into the camera. And I'm going to try to do get ready with me <clears throat> at least every Thursday, if I can. So yeah, once that color is blended on both of your eyelids, then the eyeshadow look is basically completed. This is all I do. I don't even add eyeliner. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But, you know, for today's sake and for today's time, because I have class, let's stick up with your eyeshadow look. Um... So yeah, after my eyeshadow, I just add my lashes. I'm going to put my lashes off camera, on off camera. Um, these are, I don't forgot where I got them from. I think I got them from AliExpress. These are just little simple, you know, AliExpress lashes. So yeah, I'm going to put them on off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have my lashes on. Um, like I stated, my lashes are from AliExpress. They came in like a pack of five. I think there was like two to three dollars. But yeah, I get most of my eyelashes from AliExpress. Only because they're so cheap and they're so good. Like I feel like they last me a long time. I'm going to go right into my face and I'm going to prime. So I prime with two primers. First, I prime with my Makeup Forever. What's called the Makeup Revolution? I prime with my Makeup Forever. I prime with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizing Base Mattifying Primer. Now, with this primer, I'll only put it on my nose because my nose tends to get oily a lot. And I feel like this primer really helps control the oils. But if I put it anywhere else on my face, then it will start to dry. So my skin type is... It changes during the season. Summertime, I'm very oily. Like every year over my face so like in the summertime i will wear this all over my face but in the winter time i'm tend to be dry everywhere else except for my nose so to prime the rest of my face i'm going to use my nyx pore filler primer i just recently bought this primer and i love it so much it makes my foundation so smooth and it wasn't that much i think it was about 14 15 dollars so yeah, I'm just going to pop that all over my face, like so. Um, another thing, I'm in the process of trying. I'm in the process of, of trying to clear up my skin. I'm drinking as much water as possible. I'm, you know, um, so if you know of any good skincare products that I can use, any face masks, cleansers, um, facial masks, please let me know because I'm always looking for new products to try when it comes to skincare. I think I like skincare products more than I like makeup products. Only because it's like I want to see the difference of how it will make my skin look. So yeah. 
So yeah, I'm just going to blend it all into my skin. And when I'm done, I'm going to take this little sponge. I forgot where I got this sponge from. I honestly did. But I'm going to take this sponge and I'm going to press it into my powder. <clears throat> only a little bit, not a lot. And I'm going to set the primer on my nose only. This tends to help with the oil too a lot. So if you have an oily nose or an oily T-zone or an oily face, you can set your whole face or you can just set your nose. So after that is set, I'm going to take my foundation. Um, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I just recently worked this foundation yesterday. And, you know, I tested it out as soon as I got back to my room. And I wore it all day yesterday. And I like it. It's full coverage. Um, I know this is an old foundation. A lot of people had it before. But I wanted to try something new. I tried their Match Master Foundation. And it oxidizes like crazy on me. So, I just have to give another foundation a try. So, I'm just going to pump this on my silly sponge. Silicone sponge whatever it's called I don't know and I'm just going to put this on one side of my face first this was one whole pump I'm going to take another pump that on my nose right here then I want to take my beauty blender and then I want to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend this all out um so yeah, my best friend just came in a row to make me less nervous. <laughs> Thank God he did, because I was in here nervous as hell. Ah! <laughs> we steal each other's stuff all the time. I stole his um perfume yesterday. He didn't even notice. <laughs> You're so annoying. The pee and the girl is under the I'm going to use your back. Okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so the dorm I have is, like, an apartment-style dorm. So, it's four of us living in here. <clears throat> Me, my other friend, Marquia, my best friend, Malik, and then our other friend, um, Rashana. So, yeah, we just all live in here. It's on campus. It's a nice little apartment. You know, it's cute. But, yeah, I'm just going to blend the rest of this out. The coverage on this is very good though. Um, it's more full of coverage than I would like. I like, I tend to like medium coverage foundations, like sheer to medium foundations. Only because I feel like fuller coverage foundations will make me look so cakey and I would just look crazy. Like when I first started off in makeup, the foundation I was using, I, to feel, I forgot the name of it, but I know it was by CoverGirl. In that foundation, I didn't know what I was doing at all. I didn't use any primer or anything. So that foundation made me look so oily. And it was so full coverage that I really looked like... It just really looked crazy. But I don't know. People kept complimenting me and saying that it would look good. But I don't know. Thinking back on the nail. Because, like, I got in better with my makeup. I feel like, you know, I looked kind of crazy. But I'm just going to blend down to my neck. So once that's all done and all blended out, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. When I tell y'all I love this concealer, I really do. This is my favorite concealer. Um, I just recently bought a new bottle because I ran out. But yeah, this is my favorite concealer. So I just take some like that. And then I take some on the bridge of my nose. On my forehead. And like so. So I'm just going to let that sit there and dry down a little bit. So it can become more full of coverage. 
Um, I seen this on Jackie Aina's channel. I watch her channel all the time. I love her videos. <clears throat> But yeah, I seen this on her channel and she said that, you know, letting your concealer sit for a while makes it more fuller coverage. And you know, yeah, I like full coverage concealers. And I feel like this Tarte Shade C concealer is already full coverage, but you know, it had adding that extra coverage so I can hide, you know, like my bags and stuff. Cause I woke up so early this morning and I'm so tired. I went to bed late, like around 12 o'clock last night. Woke up like around what six six thirty. Then I gotta be in class all day today. So yeah, I'm just now I'm going to blend out the concealer. This was supposed to be a chit chat getaway for me, but I'm not even doing a lot of talking. Sorry, guys. Maybe next week I'll be, you know, better at this type of stuff. But until then, I'm going to be doing talkthroughs until I get more comfortable in front of the camera. I, I mean, like I know over time I will, but you know what's funny? I was just watching my playback video um, of the intro I just <laughs> filmed, and. I noticed I have a piece of hair sticking up so please don't come for me I know I have hair sticking up that's this, this part is right my real hair right here I know it's, it's going to be sticking up I didn't flat iron my hair yet or like really try to do it I just took it down yeah I don't let my concealer sit on for a long time because I don't want it to dry down too mad and then like it's hard to blend out or I don't want it to dry down you know too much and then it's hard to blend out okay so after that is done guys i do not bake at all i think i'm like the only person that does not bake my face but i'm going to tell you a funny story all i do is i just set my face with this powder i take this brush i honestly forgot where i got it from i had this for years i think i got it from the hair store I don't know but it's a blush brush i just use it as powder i meant for my powder but um yeah take some like that and dust them off and then just pat it in like that but yeah i think i'm like the only person that does not bake my face i used to bake in the summertime no no not again um i look so cakey it's not even funny like I think it was because of the type of um powder I was using. I was using the Benai Luxury Banana Powder. And because you know, I was you know reading reviews and everybody said they loved it and it was the best powder in the world and stuff, but it made me look so cakey and I just stopped baking after that. But and it sucked because in the summertime, like I said, I'm oily. So like I really needed to, but I just stopped and I just started setting my face like how I am now. But, um, yeah, I, I don't bake at all. So, moving on, I'm going to contour. So, I use two products to contour. The first product I'm going to use to contour is my Fenty Beauty Match Stick. And this is in the shade Espresso. I use this on my jawline. like so then i'm going to take my elf contouring brush i'm just going to blend that in but yeah um contouring is actually my favorite part about makeup i just like to sculpt my face i feel like it's so so fun i don't know um and then i'm going to take my la girl pro concealer in the shade dark cocoa um funny story for English class, last try, well, no, not last try, two tries ago in the springtime, we had to do a presentation, a demonstration. And you know, she said you can pick anything. The demonstration can be on anything, anything that you like to do. So I really couldn't decide on what I wanted to do. So then, I thought of the idea of 
you know, demonstrating how to contour and highlight your face. I sat in the front of the classroom. I took all my makeup with me and I sat there, put on my foundation, did my contour and my highlight. Like I showed my class how to contour and highlight. And then this is where the idea of me starting a YouTube channel came up again. <clears throat> we got feedback from our, um, from our classmates. And, you know, a lot of people was like, it felt like I was watching a YouTube channel. She should do YouTube. Did it the so I was just like, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start doing YouTube. Um, but that was good practice because like I say, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous talking in front of people. Um, that's just how I am. I'm a shy person, I'm a very quiet, but like I'm quiet until like you know you get to know me. Um, but yeah, I'm just a very shy and quiet person. And <clears throat> For me to sit up there and like really do that, I was like really nervous, but at the same time I was doing something I liked and I knew what I was talking about. So my words came out so easily, but you know, just everybody just looking at, like, looking at me, like I know people are watching me, it makes me even more nervous, it makes, it makes me 10 times more nervous. Um, <clears throat> and also when I get nervous, I start to talk fast. So if I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry, I'm going to slow down, but like I said, um, Eventually, over time, I'll warm up. I promise. So, after that is all blended out, <clears throat> my contour is blended. <coughs> Alright, I seriously need to take some medicine because I keep coughing. I'm going to take my little sponge again and dip that into the powder. And now I'm going to clean up my contour. Um, oh, I didn't say my major. Um, my major that I'm, I'm not saying my major that I'm majoring in. My major is restaurant food and beverage management. Um, with that major, you know, I plan to hopefully open my own sports bar. I don't like sports, to be honest. I don't watch it at all. But a lot of people do. So, like, you know, I just want to open up an establishment where people feel comfortable. <laughs> and they could just come and relax. Um, oh yeah, I'm just um, brushing off the powder with my AliExpress brush. I think this came in a pack of 12 too. Um, yeah, I use a lot of AliExpress brushes because their brushes are so good and they're so cheap. I use a lot of AliExpress brushes and e.l.f. brushes. I don't think I have any high-end brushes at all. I think that's gonna come like you know later on down the line after I graduate and make a lot of money because this is all I can afford right now. So once that's all dusted off, I'm going to take my e.l.f. bronzer in the shade deep, like right there, and I just use this to deepen up my contour. Then I use this to contour my forehead, well, to bronze my forehead. I don't like to put contour on top of my forehead because every time I do, it makes my forehead look dark. Is I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but it makes my forehead look so dark. Like, I remember before I did it, the rest of my face was fine, but my forehead was the only part that was, like, just dark all around. So, I don't contour my forehead because of that reason, but I just bronze it up a little bit. At least just to add, you know, some type of color. <clears throat> so moving back onto my eyes. I'm going to take my Elf Mineral Eyeliner. And I'm just going to line up my waterline. Then I'm going to take the same brush that I used earlier to blend out my eyeshadow. I'm going to take some more in this brush. And I'm just going to put it underneath. I was thinking about showing off my room, like giving a room tour because I feel like my room is so cute. Like, 
I feel like, you know, the pictures I have, and I have pictures right here, and I don't know, I just feel like my room is so cute. So I might do a room tour. Like either sometime next week or maybe on Sunday. We have to see. Um. So yeah, after that, I'm just going to spray my face with my Fix Plus. And then I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter. It's in the shade Gold Attic. Oh yeah, I'm just going to pop that right here. I really love this highlighter. I haven't used it in a while though, so I just decided to bring it back out today. But yeah, I really love this highlighter. Like, see how gold it is? I live for a good gold highlighter. I really love gold highlighters. So after that has gone out, I never put on only one highlighter, ever. Um, I'm going to take my Carly Bible palette, and I'm going to take this shade and this shade, mix them together, and pop that right on top. Like I love to be like, you know, I love my for my highlights to pop out the most. I'm going back in with those two. And yeah, my face is complete. Um, I'll be right back to put on my lip products. Okay. Um, so for my lips, um, I don't really use a lot of lip products. Like the only thing I really use is this one gloss, and I have so many lip glosses and lipsticks that I don't even use. But I'm going to take this ColourPop lip gloss in the shade Fudge. The name is not on here because it stays in my bag all the time. So. I'm just gonna take the shade fudge and I'm going to apply it all over my lips. And yeah, this is the completed look. Um I hope you guys liked it. I really do. I <laughs> I'm so nervous this whole video. I hope you liked it. Please give me any feedback. Any feedback that will make my makeup look better. Any feedback that will make me, you know, record better. Any feedback that will make me, you know, talk better or anything that should, like, you know, just basically anything that I can do better. Um, any and every feedback is welcomed. Um, and yeah, this is the completed makeup look. This is my everyday makeup look. So I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed my video. And thank you. And please don't forget to subscribe and like and share, comment, all of that. So yeah, thank you and bye.